Hello. Um, today I have a new story for you all. It is called um, The Snail and the Whale. Now this is a beautiful, beautiful story written by Julia Donaldson and all the illustrations are done by Axel Scheffler. So I have this story for you and let's see how beautifully the snail and the whale come together and, and make friends and save each other, right? So let's start. So that is a beautiful, beautiful um, seaside and that's the dock and that's a tiny little snail. Let's read about it. This is a tale of a tiny snail and a great big, hum, great big gray blue humpback whale. That's the kind of whale that we're talking about. It is a great big gray blue humpback whale. And this is a rock as black as soot. And this is a snail with an itchy foot. The sea snail slithered all over the rock and gazed at the sea and the ships in the dock. And as she gazed, she sniffled and <sighs> sighed. The sea is deep and the world is wide. Uh, how long I s the sea is deep and the world is wide and how I long to sail, said this tiny snail. Now she, the snail really, really wishes to go travel everywhere and see the world. But how could she? She's so tiny. So these are all the other snails that are there on the black rock. These are the other snails in the flock who all stuck tight to soothe to the smooth black rock and said to the snail with the itchy foot, Shh, be quiet. Don't wiggle. Stay still. Stay put. But the tiny sea snail sighed and sniffled, then cried, I've got it. I'll hitch a lift. This is the trail. This is the trail of the tiny snail, a silver trail that looped and curled and said, Now that's the trail that looped and curled, and it said, Lift wanted around the world. So the tail, uh, so the snail literally wrote on a black rock with her silver slithery um, uh, trail that she wanted a lift and so that somebody please take me on a lift to let me go all around the world. Mm -hmm. But you know why all um, the snails here said don't move? It's because the birds are there in the sky and birds love to eat snails. So that's why they said don't move. But the snail just couldn't wait and she slithered and she wrote, I, and she wrote, lift wanted all around the world. Look at who this is. That's the great gray blue humpback whale. And this is the whale who came one night when the tide was high and the stars were bright. A humpback whale, immensely long, who sang to the snail a wonderful song of shimmering ice and coral caves and shooting stars and enormous waves. And this is the tale of the humpback whale. He held it out of the starlit sea and said to the snail, Come on, sail with me. So do you see that's the humpback whale and that's a tiny little snail right here. And here, what do you see? You see the snail jumping up on it. Yes, 
you see the snail going up on the whale's tail. And this is the sea, so wild and free, that carried the whale and the snail on his tail. To towering icebergs and far off lands, so the whale actually took the snail to the place where there are all icebergs and really, really big, one, big ones. To fiery mountains and golden sands. Yes, they went everywhere together. And these are the waves that arched and crashed, that foamed and frolicked and sprayed and splashed. The tiny snail on the tail of the whale. Do you see how even when with such massive waves, the tiny snail is still on the whale's tail. These are the caves beneath the waves. Do you see that? Ooh, and there are some really dangerous fish right there. These are the caves beneath the waves where stripy fish with feathery fins and sharks with hideous toothy grins. They swam around the whale and the snail on his tail. And this is the sky so vast and high, sometimes sunny and blue and warm, but sometimes filled with thunderstorms with zigzag lightning flashing and frightening the tiny snail on the tail of the whale so all the big thunders are so big that it would scare the tiny snail so very much and she gazed at the sky the sea and the land, the waves and the caves and the beautiful golden sand. She gazed and gazed and amazed by it all. And she said to the whale, I feel so small. But then came the day the whale lost his way. These are the speed boats running a race zigging and zooming all over the place, upsetting the whale with the ear-splitting roar, making him swim close to the shore. Now look at that. The whale had been swimming close by, but with so much noise of the speedboats, the whale seemed to have lost his way. And now he has come right up to the shore. Do you think he'll be able to survive? with no water at all? The whale can't live on land, so let's see what actually happens. But it's, this is the tide and all the water, that's the tide, and it's slipping away. <gasps> Look at what this is. The whale has come back on the sand. That can't happen. And this is the whale lying beached in a bay. Quick, off the sand, back to the sea, cried the snail. Oh, oh, I can't move on land. I'm too big, moaned the whale. The snail, she felt helpless and terribly small. Then, I've got it, she cried and she started to crawl. I must not fail, said the tiny snail. So she had a plan in her mind and let's see what this plan was. These are all the children right here. And this is the bell on the school in the bay. R uh, ringing the children in front of, uh, ringing the children in from their play. And this is the teacher this is the teacher holding her chalk, telling the class, sit straight, don't talk. <laughs> and this is the board as black as suit.
and guess what she does yes and this is the snail with the itchy foot a snail a snail the teacher turns pale look say the children it's leaving a trail the teacher gets really scared because there's a snail right there but all the children say hey look on the board she's leaving a trail and that means she's left a message for all the children there look say the children it's leaving a trail this is the trail of the tiny snail a silvery tra uh, trail saying save the whale what a great idea by the snail and these are the children running from the school fetching the firemen and they all are digging a pool do you see how they are helping the whale right here they are cooling the whale down and digging a little um, hole so that the whale can slide back into the sea squatting and spraying to keep it cool this is the tide the tide that means the water the tide is slowly coming into the bay and these are the villagers shouting hooray as the whale and the snail travel safely away see to say thank you how the whale actually has a spray from its spout and back to the dock and the flock on the rock who said how times flown and haven't you grown and the whale and the snail told their wonderful tale of shimmering ice and coral cave and shooting stars and enormous waves and how the snail so small and frail with looping curling silvery trail save the life of the humpback whale then the humpback whale held out his tail and and on crawled a snail after snail after snail look at this the the whale actually decided that hey why not have or why not give all the snails a little um trip around the world by sitting on my tail so that's a snail right here and these are all her friends that are there on the rock they're climbing on the tail of the whale look all of them are going for a little holiday and they sang to the sea and they and they all set sail on the tail of the grey blue humpback whale how beautiful it is so that's a really really interesting thing to know that snails they leave a trail as they walk in everywhere so any time you see a snail hold on wait a minute and actually see if she is leaving a trail behind you will see something slimy there and yes that is a silver trail that she leaves behind i hope you enjoyed this story because it's one of the most beautiful stories that says however small you are it is very very important to help anybody or your friends or anybody who is in need of your uh, help right so that's a really wonderful story i hope you enjoyed it it was by julia donaldson and axel scheffler the name of the story was the snail and the whale you are learning all about insects right now so i thought why not introduce you to uh, this insect which is the snail i hope you have a wonderful day see you the next time bye bye